Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> still eating. You've got the mochi underneath, you've got the chocolate on top, you've got the cream. Amazing. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I am here with Michi Hi. again. Hi. Hey, uh, yesterday we went to a Michelin star restaurant, but today yeah. <laughs> we are here in Ninansaka yeah. and we will look for good food, right? Yeah. Uh, Michi will help me find food with no gelatin yeah. Yeah. and no alcohol. Yeah. So thank you, Michi, for your help. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. I apologize for my poor English. So. No problem, no problem. Michi will be very helpful, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, let's see what we, what we can find on, in Ninansaka. If you got a sweet tooth, then this is the perfect first stop. Starting off with a house of strawberries, multiple items, all strawberry based. We have a crepe with yeah, uh, maybe, uh, uh, cream. No. Cream, cream and, and cream. strawberries. Strawberry, yeah. And this is... Dango. 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 Okay. So it's like mochi? Mochi, mochi yes. Like mochi. Okay. Uh, so can you ask her if this one contains uh, gelatin? Gelatin. Uh, so we've just found out there's no gelatin in all these products here. So we're going to try one of them now. Arigato. So we have our food. Thank you Michi for paying yeah. because they didn't take card. Bismillah. Mm. Very chewy. Mm. Have your one. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And there's a chocolate and your one has. Mmm, okay. So thick pancake. With this, you've got the mochi underneath, you've got the chocolate on top, you've got the cream. Amazing. School? Yes, yes. From Yokohama. Oh, Yokohama, okay. Okay. Second big city. Mmm. So here we have fried rice cake. And we have camembert cheese cream. Michi just checked there's no gelatin in this one as well. So perfect, we can have this one. Fried rice cakes, let's give it a try. 100 yen each. Arigato. Oh, it's hot. Oh, very good. Let's give this a try, it's very hot. Mmm. It's fried mochi. That was really nice, really nice. You definitely try this. It's in the shop here. So far off to a good start. We had something sweet and now we had something savory. If you're new to the Ninenzaka area, definitely check out my full day tour of Kyoto because there's actually so much to see here and I'll actually take you through the most famous places. Just saw a couple there taking wedding pictures here. Obviously a very nice place to, to come. And to say congratulations in Japanese is, hopefully I'm saying it right, Omedeto gozaimasu. So yeah, one for you. <laughs> we'll take the matcha ice cream. Matcha ice cream. Mm. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Matcha or shot. Arigato. Okay. okay, Michi, wh um, what do you think of matcha? Do you like it? Uh, too, no, 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 no sweet, so mm. I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's, it's going to pass. But I will give it a try. Bismillah. It's actually quite nice. Not bitter at all as I'd expect from sort of green tea matcha, but it is sweet. <laughs> very sweet. <laughs> mm. Okay, so that was a very refreshing ice cream. Michi thinks I'm done for the day, but clearly he doesn't know we're just getting started. <laughs> if the only mochi you're used to is the one in the ice cream sections of your local Tesco, then definitely continue watching because Ninenzaka is mochi galore. <laughs> We're just going to try this. Uh, he's confirmed no, no gelatin inside these. Um, he uses uh, mountain plants, right? To, mountain plants to, to make these. Softest mochi I've had. Yeah, so this was like the softest mochi I've had. Um, very different texture to the mochi uh, I've, I've had so far. Very interesting, very nice flavor. Slightly non-food related, but what Japan is absolutely obsessed with is this, it's called gashapon, basically vending machines for various toys. 
you see lots of shops like this everywhere. Since it's my last day in Kyoto, I also packed some snacks for my trip. Okay, they've just given us black soybean tea for us to try on the house. Mm, cold iced tea. Okay, I'll be honest, it tastes a lot like um, water, but um, it's got, yeah, tingling at the end. Red bean with sugar. Mm. Uh, it's sweet, very sweet. It's interesting the kind of stuff they do with um, beans. Last but not least, a local speciality. We're now trying kaho, which is octopus fish balls basically. Let's see. Originating from neighboring Osaka, which Bado will be traveling to very soon, this local treat is enjoyed by many, cooked in an open flame. This egg rich batter has various spices added, but most importantly, fresh octopus. May look a little messy now, but wait for the flip. And there you go, beautifully served, piping hot. What's this? So if you're wondering what those little things are, it's called katsubushi, which is basically, in our Bengali terms, shudki. So it's going to put a bit of shudki on top of uh, our fish balls. Should be uh, interesting. Okay, we'll give it a try. It smells so fishy. <laughs> I'm a bit scared. The shudki smell is strong, boy. It's very soft. I don't know how to grab it. Oh, steaming hot. Look at this. Nice, very hot, but very nice. So hot, hard to eat. But it's actually so nice. I'm surprised. From the smell, I didn't expect it. It's actually delicious, but because it's fresh, it's piping hot. But have a look at Michi. He's <laughs> <laughs> still eating. <laughs> It's still hot, it's so hot, but no. he's still eating. No, no. <laughs> that tastes so good, but <laughs> Michi likes pain. No, no, no. <laughs> this guy loves no, pain. No. Octopus is too hot to eat. Uh, Japanese people are built differently. No, no, no. <laughs> so hot, but it's so nice. Mm. Just want to keep having it. <laughs> this guy. So I just bid farewell to my friend Michi here. I appreciate so much his help because he's been so helpful today for trying to find me all these nice, amazing foods. Um, although that was a very painful experience for him, but he did it for, for, uh, for the video, I guess. But um, that concludes our, our uh, video today. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I continue my journey from here to Osaka after this, uh, and then I go back to Tokyo. Uh, but I do a little trip in between, you want to be watching that video. Uh, if you haven't yet, watch my Kyoto full uh, video where I'll take you through all the various spots of the town and also where to eat. But for now, I'm going to say Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.